It's okay. I understand. I'm not as busty as my sister was. Hey guys, welcome back to more Phoenix, right? Busty. You know what that means, right? Uh, boobles? Uh huh. Oh. I love the girl. Like, they're. Okay, before we continue on, I just want to say this. I can't wait till we play Phoenix Wright Dual Destinies. Ever heard of it? No. It's my favorite Phoenix Wright character ever, and it's a girl. It's the one with the orange hair. You probably haven't seen her. You may have. I don't know. No. But she's really cool, and she's the one who's the, like, Phoenix, uh, Phoenix basically coaches her through being a lawyer. It's great. Okay. That was the one I played on my iPhone, uh... Oh. That time a while back. The one you bought me, like, four episodes for. <laughs> And I've also heard about you. Heard? Heard what about me? I was talking to my sister on the phone the other day. She... <coughs> she was... She told me about that one night. I... Today was my junior partner's first time in court. Wow, really? How'd that go? <clears throat> it was quite the scene. Honestly, I was on the edge the whole time. It's been a while. <laughs> so he crashed and burned? He's a genius. One of those strike fear into the hearts of evil types. The only thing he's lacking is experience. Huh? Sounds like it was fun. Well, I know who to go to if I ever get into trouble now. Yep. I don't know, Maya. I think you might want to wait and give him three more years. That is, unless you want to be found guilty. I'm gonna be guilty! That's what she said! <laughs> oh, fuck. Now she knows about my three inch dick. Three and a half when it's hard. <laughs> He's waiting to hit puberty. <laughs> three more years. It'll be. One second, dude. Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to trouble you. Focus. <laughs> Judge, what did you get? <laughs> no, it's okay. It's true, I guess. <laughs> Judge is just like everybody's like cognitive imagination. I've been here for a while. He's <laughs> just sitting on the bench eating chips. No, he's like in there with her, just sitting in the corner below the camera. No, he's, he is the judge right there, that guy in the corner. Because remember, we the said the beard. Judge? Yeah. That's a guard. We said the. We, he's just he's just like hiding it there. But we said the beard was fake to hide his chips, remember? <laughs> it's not fake. That's real, dude. Dude, that was a joke. No, that's a real. He grows that beard and he hides his chips in it. I I. But at the same time, I can't just sit and watch. When I think of the person who did this to Mia. Uh, I know. Talk. <laughs> There's something I've been wanting to ask you. Yes? What's with that outfit? Oh, this? Well, I'm what you call, uh, pe uh, I'd say pedophile. Um, what do you call a prostitute? And some people like that spiritual shit, so... This is what all acolytes wear. It's my uniform, you could say. Uh, acolytes? Like people in religious training? What is it that you do? <clears throat> oh, it's nothing strange, really. I'm a spirit medium in training. Mm. A, a spirit medium? I'm pretty sure that qualifies as strange. Could you tell me about the day of the murder? Yes! Let's see. That morning, I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold on to a piece of ev evidence for an upcoming trial. Evidence? Yes. That clock, that clock shaped like the thinker? The one Larry made. How could that have been evidence in a case? Um, right. She said something about that... Uh... I remember! Do you want to hear about it in her own voice? Maya's a cutie. Yeah. Really. Just 
Her antenna, though. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> her own voice. Yes. I'm pretty sure our conversation is on my cell phone. You recorded it? Yeah, I forgot how to delete those things. <laughs> your cell phone. So, you say you have a conversation with your sister on your cell phone. Let's hear it. Right! Oh. I just remembered that the detectives took my cell phone. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, right. Of course. Dumbass. Next time I see Detective Gumshoe, <laughs> I'll ask him for it. I'll, I'll write you a note so you don't forget, okay? Sure, thanks. Maya's memo added to the court record. <laughs> Oh. Could you tell me about the day of the murder? Sorry, I know it must be hard. No, it's okay. All I've been doing the last few hours is talking about it. I've kind of gotten used to it. Let's see. That morning I got a call from my sister. She told me to hold on a piece of evidence for an upcoming trial. It's the thinker clock that Mary made. That classifies as a serial murder by now. So then, when did you arrive at the office? It was right around 9 o'clock. Mm -hmm. The lights were off and I could smell blood. <sighs> then I found her, my sister. Thanks, Maya. That's all I needed to hear for now. Except for the spirit medium shit. So, you're an acolyte, uh, er, medium in training. That's right. The Fey family, especially the women, have always been very sensitive to the spirit world. Wait a second, you said the Fey family? So, Mia was in this stuff too? Of course! She left the mountain to follow her career, she said. Her powers were first class too. I had no idea. Huh. Wait. What? So... You're real to honest good to goodness spirit medium with ESP and all that? Yes, in training. She didn't catch that the first time, you fucking do stupid ass piece of shit. <laughs> I love like I say like stupid things. And Cole just like gives like just stares at me. He just flicks his head as fast as he can, just like focus. Hold on a minute. Have to be serious. We gotta be serious up in here. Well, all right. well, you can contact Maya Spirit then, right? We can just ask her who killed her. Uh, I, I'm sorry. I'm still in training. I couldn't do something on that level. Huh? I thought that would be too easy. Um. Huh? Something the matter? Uh, I was wondering, could I ask you a favor? <clears throat> this is the address of a famous lawyer. My sister gave this, gave me this a long time ago. She said if I was ever in trouble, I should call him. And, well, I'm in trouble. Do you think you could go ask him to represent me? Huh. Refuse. Use. But we get to meet a new character. We meet him anyway. But we get to meet a new man. We meet him anyway. A new person. I've never refused. Refuse? Refuse. Refuse. I'm sorry. I think this is the kind of thing you should really do yourself. You're right. That's your name. Something wrong? Actually, I asked the police to contact him, and they tried calling a few times. Nobody could get a hold of him. They couldn't find him? I have no one left to ask. Say, what about your parents? O okay, don't worry. I'll go ask him for you. <clears throat> yes. You, you will? Thank you so much! 
I'm, I'm just worried that what will happen if I can't find him. Yes. They told me that if I don't find one, the state will pick an attorney to defend me. When will that happen? They're giving me until 4 o'clock this afternoon. Visiting hours are almost up. I better hurry. Right. I'll be back. Okay. And move. We examine. Uh, there's really not much to examine. But guard. Who is that man? This guard monitors the visitor. Or... Hey, it's about this guy. He... Uh, he's a robot. Behooves. Yeah. Hey, hey. Where do where do cows Grossberg. go? Oh. You're gonna be my rival. You're gonna do his voice. You just wait and see. That's Crocodile Dundee. <laughs> hey, it's Crocodile Dundee. You ready to see this guy? Yeah, I I played this before. Oh yeah. According to the receptionist, the big boss is out. She couldn't say when he'd be back. Must be hard to keep track of everything when you're a famous lawyer and all. Not to mention running an office like this. I guess I'll just have to come back later. Examine Crocodile Dundee. Crocodile Dundee! Bam! That painting has been bugging me ever since I stepped in here. What? The oil paint is so thick it's practically giving me a stuffed nose. I'm sure the price is nothing to sneeze at either, for that matter. Mm hmm. Neither is ending the episode. See you next time. Nah.